Pentecost Novena to the Holy Spirit. Day 5. Prayer Intention, for Knowledge. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Act of Consecration to the Holy Spirit. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul, and body to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you, by your compassion, to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father, and the Son, to say to you, always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant heareth, Amen. Today's Prayer Light immortal, light divine, visit thou these hearts of thine, and our inmost being fill. The gift of knowledge enables the soul to evaluate created things at their true worth in their relation to God. Knowledge unmasks the pretense of creatures, reveals their emptiness, and points out their only true purpose as instruments in the service of God. It shows us the loving care of God even in adversity, and directs us to glorify Him in every circumstance of life. Guided by its light, we put first things first, and prize the friendship of God beyond all else. Knowledge is a fountain of life to him that possesseth it. Come, O blessed spirit of knowledge, and grant that I may perceive the will of the Father, show me the nothingness of earthly things, that I may realize their vanity, and use them only for thy glory and my own salvation, looking ever beyond them, to thee and thy eternal rewards. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, Amen. Concluding Prayer O Lord Jesus Christ, who, before ascending into heaven, did promise to send the Holy Spirit, to finish your work, in the souls of your apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul, the work of your grace, and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world, and aspire only after the things that are eternal, the spirit of understanding, to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel, that I may ever choose the surest way, of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude, that I may bear my cross with you, and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation, the spirit of knowledge, that I may know God and know myself, and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, and the spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God, and may dread in any way to displease Him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples, and animate me, in all things, with your Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.